Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshire Media 1, I am Mark, your host, your presenter, whatever you want me to be, and yes I am cheaper and better than the BBC. <sighs> you get me for free, you can't get better than that. So, what are we talking about today? Well, I'm doing a video response to Yorkshire last serious talk, living off the land. Now, I'm going to do a disclaimer, whatever I mention, it is just my opinion, that's all it is. And, at the end of the day, you know, why not? So, whatever I mention, so there you go, it's just uh, it's just my opinion and it's, the, it, you know, it, it's what could or might happen and things like that. So, so, yeah, so like I said, this is a video response to Yorkshire Lads living off the land. It's, uh, you know, it's it, it, from, from his serious talk and that, and I thought I'd do it. Now, it's not about food going up. Now, food has gone up. And according to a channel that I watch on a regular basis called Jeff Taylor, food is going to the luxury back bracket. It's now a luxury item. It should never be. Um, I will explain. So, according to Jeff Taylor, um, the channel I watch is that food is going to a luxury. You know, it's going so, so much. It's going to the luxury bracket. And a lot of poor people can't afford it. So if you take a tin of price of baked beans with the big four, um, they've gone up 50% basically. Um, if you look at the big soup, now I know, you know, I've seen big soup and I've seen it in Asda near, you know, I've got an Asda near me. I've seen it in there for, for 180, 190. It's not worth that, obviously. Um, excuse what has to give is well cost of living is going up all the time and that so and I've just turned around and says well you're going up on a weekly basis uh, well uh, I says you're just profiteering you know what I mean so I agree with what Yorkshire Lads says so you know food's going up 40 to 50 percent to wherever you shop so it's a luxury item yeah yeah it's, it's coming under the bracket of luxury item and that and this government don't seem to know what it's doing price capping comes to mind like they did in 70s and 80s to stop you know you know for going sky high too much that's what it should be doing price capping and things like that on the other one in my opinion yes we can live off the land yes you can get a lot an allotment and start growing things and chickens and ducks and things like that you know some people have goats, don't they? And things like because you can eat goats. Yes, you can do that, but also you can go into gathering. You can get wild animals. Um, you can kill wild bunny rabbits and things like that. Um, all you need is is a decent air rifle or a bow and arrow, I suppose. But a decent air rifle will do, or and things like that. You know, something decent what will penetrate. Um, I used to have a 177, I used to go on team with that, and then I got a 2-2. Two 2-2 -two. Two two's more powerful, and it will kill more or less straight. Well, well, it would kill straight away. Animal won't feel a thing, and things like that. Um, so you can do that, and, and you can kill, yeah. He'll go around killing pigeons and things like that. So you could, in essence, completely live off the land. You know what I mean? So you could set, yeah, you know, things like that. You know, snares up for... For, for rabbits and things like that. Um, what else can you do? Oh, yeah, you, know, you can have a yeah, you know, yeah. You, know, you can go into into woods and that, and yeah, you know, kill kill wood, wood pigeons and things like that. That, that that's you know, if we're forced to do it, yeah. You know, when you look around, there's things what you can eat. There's certain plants what you what is edible. Um, and things like that. I'm not that good, so, you know, but if you but there is an app in there what you can get for your phone, and you can put it up a plant, and it'll tell you if it's edible or not, and things like that. So you can do that. Yeah, um, you can live that way as well. So you don't have to have meat or all, but you can live that way. <laughs> but if it comes to it, I mean, there's going to be people hunting deer and things like that. So yeah, I mean, and and yes, you do have to be patient, unfortunately. I'm not one of those people who's patient enough. Um, fishing. We can go fishing and catch edible uh, fish and things like that. You know, there's plenty of things what you could do. Um, 
like what Yorkshire lad says, you can get an allotment, start growing potatoes, start growing carrots and things like that. And yeah, and you can have a small allotment, take what you want and sell the rest at a reasonable price. It's a good idea, is that? But also, what I want to integrate, you don't need to get an allotment. You can have a garden. If you don't want to grow in your garden, or don't like that, or, or prepare ground for it, um, it comes to Felicity Kendall and that in, in the good life, uh, then you can have tall tubs, you know, like these water bowls, and you can fill them up with compost and plant stuff in them, and, and, and it does grow. I know somebody who does it because he's in an high rise flat, and he's got like big, big, you know, he's got four of these, you know, he's got one, two, yeah, one, two, three, yeah, he's got four, roughly, four, yeah, like one, two, one, two, yeah, four. And then you can look over the balcony. And uh, he grows potatoes in one, carrots in another, and things like that, you know, to what he eats and, and others and things like that. So he, he even um, grows sweet potatoes and things like that. Um, and you can do it as long as it's, it, it's, it's watered on a regular, you know, you know, you know, water it obviously, it needs water and things like that. But it can be done, you can grow stuff in tubs. Um, if you haven't got a garden, so you can do that. Um, also, you can you know you, you can make a makeshift greenhouse. You can plant your tomato plants into into tubs and make a you know, you know, you know get some plastic into you know <coughs> get some bamboo around it and make a makeshift um, greenhouse and things like that. You know what I mean? But that's just for your vegetables and things like that. If you wanted meat, then you'd have to go out and go kill wild rabbits and things like that. Um, and, and, and yeah, you, you, you would have to do that. Um, you could, like what Wayne says, if you buy an allotment, some uh, some allotment associations don't allow it, like, or they shouldn't do, um, but because it's not about that. Uh, but, uh, but I've noticed on some allotments they do have chickens and ducks and that. Some allotments associations won't allow it, but, you know what I mean, what are you to do? You know what I mean, what are you to do? If cost of food is going up, then you're going to be forced to 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 do what I've just suggested, like, you know what I mean? I'm just reiterating and reinforcing what Wayne said, and he said it, you know, the way it is, you know what I mean? And, and the way it is, and the way food is going, I mean, before long, Places like supermarkets, there's going to be more theft. I'll tell you that now for a fact. That will happen. That will be, you know, there will be more theft and things like that. So what are we to do? You know, living off the land is a good way of doing things. I could do it easily. Yeah, I mean, I've had the, I've had the training to to do things like that. So so I could do it. I, I could live off the land. It depends on, yeah, you know I mean, I haven't slaughtered an animal for for a long time. Um, so it, it would churn your guts up a bit, but it it it, it can be, you know, I, 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 I would in time be able to do it. Um, that's why I mentioned fishing, you know, you know, cast your rod into, into, into the river and that and catch your fish and things like that, yeah. You know. As long as you know which fish you can eat and can't eat, you'll be fine. It's as simple as that. But that's what we're going to be forced into. The way things are going on the price hikes are going up on a weekly and daily basis and yeah, that should be it. Even Poundland justify what they do. I, I mean, they shouldn't be called Poundland because I, I had a word with management in there uh, and they basically says at least half of the shop is not pound. Yeah, you know I mean, and over there is a pound or just over the pound. So, yeah, I mean, and that's from Poundland, and at least they're being honest, you know what I mean? And, and, and reason why they say, you know, prices are going up, it's because, cost, you know, you know, you know price hike to keep, you know, so they can make a profit, basically, cover the cost and things like that. It's down to the government's fault why, why this is happening. Let's remember, the government, this government crashed our economy, and they all began with three lockdowns, that's where it began, 
and then Liz Truss come along and her, her, her Chancellor Exchequer crashed the economy, literally crashed the economy. And that's why we've got idiot Rishi Sunak. So, yeah, I mean, the way things are going, yes, we're going to have it. So, for one, you can get an allotment and you can grow stuff there. That is a good idea. I, 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 do it. I, I don't think it costs much to get one. So you can get one and, and, and grow food and things like that. Grow any type of crop type. What Me mainly, I'd be growing potatoes and things like that. And getting a boatload of potatoes and selling them off cheaply as well. Um, two, you can live off the land. You can, you know, killing wild rabbits. Things like that. Wild rabbits and, 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 and yeah, pigeon pie and things like that. So, so it can be done. Um, also, you can grow stuff in tubs. You can grow potatoes, carrots and peas and things like that into tubs. You can do it. It can be done. Um, I'll take my work for it. I know what I'm on about on that one. Because um, I've done it, yeah, I, I have done it myself. So you, you can grow stuff in tubs. You can grow carrots in tubs and things like that. It might not be the same as growing it in, a, in, a, in proper soil, but it can be done uh, into tubs. Um, what equipment would you need to go hunting? Well, yeah, an air rifle. I, I, I would honestly say, you know, you can get a 177 or a 2.2. I'd say go with 2.2, it's more powerful. Um, and that. The only reason why I mentioned 177 is because that's more accurate. But I don't know if it, I don't know if it, I, I, I imagine it would be powerful enough to knock down a pigeon and to knock down a rabbit. Um, it won't make too much messes as well because the pellets are smaller. Uh, you'll need a good knife and things like that. So, yeah, and things like that. And go watch some YouTube channels on how to, how, how to prep yourself and things like that because this information is going to be needed, yeah, literally. And if you are living off the land, then you're going to need a tent. And I've done a tent, really, yeah. I have done a review on the DD Amex Lightweight TP. So, yeah, I mean, so I have the most of the equipment. I know my mate Kevin's got a couple of, uh, he's got an air rifle and an air pistol and things like that. Um, so there you go. So it's not much. Um, you know, it, you can set traps for rabbits as well. If you know where they're running, you can set traps. As long as you don't leave the air, then you stay there. You're not supposed to do that, but if we're going to be forced to live off that land, that'll be coming back, setting snares and for rabbits and things like that and also yeah get your scent a fish yeah get your scent a match yeah a fishing rod somewhat what packs down rake re smell and that get your scent a fishing rod because <coughs> having a fish supper may have to do that you may have to catch your own fish eventually that's what we'll have to do if this if this bloody stupid government doesn't get its act together and that's what we'd have to do so I completely agree with him Yes, we're going to start, have to start living off that land. So, you know what I mean? And that's what will happen. Uh, I mean, if farmers are going to be paid not to grow food, which the government are trying to do, believe you me. And this is this is down to government listening to World Economic Forum and World Health Organization. I'll tell you, they shouldn't be listening to them. They can't, you know, the... The World Economic Forum and, and the World Health Organization, they're complete idiots and they don't know what they're on about. They really don't. And if the rumours are right from what I've heard, <laughs> Conservative Party are bankrupt for, for what they're trying to do. You know what I mean? It, it, it's costing more money than what they're for. They're a set of idiots, complete set of idiots. Well, I won't vote for any of them in, in, in the House of Commons. No chance. <laughs> complete idiots. You know what I mean? So, there you go, living off the land. Yes, we may have to do it. We may have to start thinking of doing that. So, you never know, mate. You just never know. So, like I say, if this government doesn't get its in, into, into act, prices will keep going up, people will be forced to do something what they wouldn't have considered doing before. And that's like living off the land, completely. You know what I mean? And good luck trying to enforce it because it's going to be hard because people are going to be starving and they're going to be doing anything and anything to get food you know we could have food riots you know I mean you just don't now they i don't think the conservative well 
this Prime Minister doesn't know what he's doing completely. He doesn't. You know what I mean? So, there you go. So that's my opinion. And it is only my opinion. So, hopefully, you may have liked this video. So if you have, if you like the video, please, please, please give me a like. So please like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon it all. That will let you know when I upload uh, a, a new video. So you'll get notified. Also, come back from time to time to make sure that you still subscribe to me. Because the YouTube algorithm has a nasty habit of unsubscribing people. So just come back from time to time. When you do subscribe, watch this video. You know, so if you subscribe to me now, watch this video, comment on this video, and your subscription will stick. Also, share the video to your friends and your family, and to other social media like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and Bing. Also, also I do encourage you use the comment section and you can, we can have a conversation about this video and i'll catch you on the next video bye for now happy hunting